Hi, it's Brian from iSpring, and today we're going to check out how to quickly copy a slide narration from one presentation to another. Let's say you have a series of slides with narrations and timings that you want to copy from one presentation to another. You can select them here in the list on the left and copy them to a new presentation, and that will preserve the timings, but now you have to copy the audio. To do that, let's go over here to the narration editor. Down here in the timeline, you'll see all your narrations, and if you have a relatively small number of clips, you can copy them one by one like this. Just right click a clip and open it in the editor. Now go to the menu and export it, and here you should give it a number so you'll know what order to import it into your new presentation. And we'll just perform the same procedure on this second clip. Now I'll delete these clips from the timeline and show you the import procedure. If you've pasted these slides in the middle of your new presentation, you'll want to navigate to wherever the series of slides begins before you import. Otherwise, you can start right here at the beginning. Now just click Audio on the toolbar, and select all the clips you exported. Make sure they're in numerical order in this list before you import so they'll go in the right positions on the timeline. Also note that since I created those files one after the other, their timestamps are also in ascending order, and this will come in very handy for the second method I'm about to show you. All your timings should be preserved, so you shouldn't need to configure any of these options. And there you go! Now, earlier I mentioned that this method was useful for small presentations with not that many narration clips, but now I hear you asking, what if I have a ton of narrations? Okay, so let's check out a method that'll help you transfer them in bulk. First, you'll want to access your iSpring project folder, which you can do by opening the location of your PPT file. And the project folder will have the same name as the file. Here in the audio2 slash files folder, you'll see all the audio in your presentation, which you should copy to another folder on your computer before importing. But wait, what's this? All the file names have been scrambled. No problem, when you perform the import procedure like I showed you earlier, just make sure the date modified column is activated in this folder, and then sort by date. If you recorded or imported all the audio in your presentation one after the other, then they will all be in the same order, otherwise you may want to preview them in an audio player and rename the files in the correct order. Thanks for watching this tutorial! Now you're a master of narration! Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.